Well, we've come a little bit further afield today. We're paying a late winter visit to Minsmere in Suffolk. It's our first time here since autumn 2015. Certainly a good selection of facilities here, including several hides, a visitor centre and a cafe, which we'll be checking out later. It's a really nice winter's day today and we keep hearing a woodpecker drumming and we just found it in the top of the tree here. I was hoping to get a shot of it drumming but uh, it didn't play ball. We're checking out the bitten hide first. So cool because it's a good place to see bittens from. But at the moment there's just a little egret on view. There's a bird sitting way off in the top of a bush. It's a carrion crow. And certainly more interesting than that way off in the top of a bush it's a female marsh harrier another either a young one or a female they've just disappeared into the reeds and here's a male marsh harrier just coming across the reed and there is a bitten in flight we've only been in here 10 minutes and we've seen a bitten excellent we're getting really good views of the marsh harriers there's probably something like three females out there and i've only seen the one male According to the really informative uh, RSPB guides that are in the hide, uh, they seem to think the male is uh, a French bird. We'll have to watch them quartering over the reeds. And here's the bitten, probably the same bird uh, flying back. Just disappeared into the reeds, but we've got a, a pair of marsh harriers now, and the male is uh, carrying some nest material by the look of it in his talons. I think this is all about re-establishing their breeding grounds and uh, the courtship proper will start in uh, March according to information that I've uh, looked at on the web in the past. But, uh, like most birds of prey the male is smaller than the female and uh, male marsh harriers will often mate with, with more than one female and they're the biggest of the three species we get in the UK. The others being hen harriers and the Montagues harry. And a grey heron has just flown in there. And there's the bitten again, just skimming over the top of the reeds. Oh, and being dive bombed by a female marsh harrier. I don't quite know what that was about. I certainly wouldn't attempt to predate a bittern, it's way too big. Probably momentarily thought it was a another harrier in her territory or something. And off goes the grey heron. Getting some really fantastic views of the male bird as it skims over the vast reed beds here at Minsmith looking for prey which would consist of small birds and mammals. Really is a stunning bird, there's beautiful markings, really showing up well. We're moving on to the island mere hide now. The gorse is just starting to come into flower. There's a bird of prey above us, and it's a buzzard. But we've got a little gold crest flitting about in the brambles there. can't get a longer lens on it because it's just flitting about all over the place. We've also got a blackbird foraging in the leaf litter and a really tame robin about three feet away. You come to uh, reserves you're almost guaranteed to see a really tame robin. They get used to people. This is the RSPB guide who was in the previous hide and uh, she's trying to tempt the robin with some goodies but it's not having any of it at the moment. Flying a little bit closer and no but he's uh, not interested, there's probably too many strangers around. We're in the island mere hide now and uh, good views of marsh harriers from here too probably the same ones because it's only a couple of hundred yards from the previous hide. We've also got uh, goosanders out there, males and females, and some males 
in eclipse plumage. I haven't properly got their breeding plumage yet. And they've also got uh, teal. Notice the way they tilt their heads and look upwards, always on the lookout for predators. And there, another bitten. Just disappeared into the reeds. But we've got some interesting behaviour in front of us now with the gusanders. They're actually uh, catching fish. There's probably a shoal of uh, perch or roach down there and they're having a bit of a feeding frenzy. This is certainly the best view and footage I've got of you Sanders in, in quite a while. Really going mad, diving down, grabbing the fish. And if one comes up with a fish, all the others try to steal the fish for themselves. And uh, if one of them gets a the fish, then it has to swallow it quite quickly before it's stolen by some of the other birds. Excellent view. And after their busy fishing, they went to the middle of the lake to digest their meal. Well, we're going to head back the way we came now, hopefully check out one more hide before it's time to go. And looking up, we've got a kestrel wheeling in the heavens just above us. Really, it's a beautiful late winter day now, more and more blue sky appearing. It doesn't have quite that feeling of a spring day yet, though. What a beautiful view looking through the ancient trees to the Reed beds bathed in sunlight, it's wonderful. The birds are in the trees establishing their territories ready for breeding. As you can see, we're in one of the hides that overlook the scrape now. Looking up, we've got a, quite a large flock of lapwing, just been sent up by something, and a female gadwall and a male shoveler. Most of the birds are way out though. We've got a, a blackback gull I think that could be a juvenile blackback or a juvenile herring gull. It's a long way off though. And just moving at the edge of the water there, a snipe. And we've got, I think, some curlew. They're a long way off though, I think they're curlew, not wimbrel. Some shell duck. That's definitely a curlew, a big long beak. Wimbrels have shorter beaks and a smaller. Okay, that's almost it. You can't complain at Bittens, Marsh Harriers and Cusanders. But as we left home without any breakfast this morning, we're going to head back to the cafe and enjoy some well-earned sustenance. I'll see you next time.